So it's the morning of day nine and we've arrived in Philadelphia. It's a special morning because it's going to be the first day we get to have breakfast outside of a hotel. We found John's place here in Philadelphia. Let's check it out. No luck. Apparently they stopped accepting Bitcoin about six months ago. They said they tried it for about six months and didn't work out very well. So disappointing. Let's try and find another restaurant. If there's one thing we learned this morning, it's that when you want to go eat at a restaurant that apparently accepts Bitcoin, call ahead. Even if coinmap.org says they accept Bitcoin, often they don't. We had the problem in New York. We had it again this morning at Philly. Now we have Skeeters for breakfast. <laughs> so we're in Philadelphia trying to buy a cheesesteak with Bitcoin. We're going to try one right now. Hi. How are you? Have you good. Have you ever heard of Bitcoin? No, I didn't. We visited three vendors in the area. Nobody had heard of Bitcoin. We offered to help get them set up with wallets and teach them about the new cryptocurrency so they could start accepting Bitcoin. No takers. Everybody was skeptical, but we were determined. We explained we were on a mission. 30 days, 40 cities, all Bitcoin. On our third attempt, the vendor laughed at our proposal, welcomed us to Philly, and insisted we accept a Philly cheesesteak on the house. So we found out why it's called the city of brotherly love. We just walked around trying to find a Philly cheesesteak, find a street vendor that would accept Bitcoin. Nobody would. Finally, on our third attempt, we found somebody who wouldn't take our Bitcoin, but they gave us a free Philly cheesesteak because they liked what we were doing and they thought Bitcoin sounded pretty cool, but they didn't have a smartphone with them to download the wallet. We were a little bit worried coming to the Liberty Bell. Thankfully, no tickets required. So we realized that we should probably get an oil change at some point since we're driving so much on this trip. And uh, we've been looking for a, a service station that accepts Bitcoin so we can do that since we left Canada. We think we may have found one. It's about 15 minutes outside of Philadelphia and we're heading, heading there now. We found them through coin, uh, coinmap.org and we called ahead to make sure that yes indeed they do accept Bitcoin. Now the, the fellow that answered the phone says his son had set it up and he's not too sure how it works, but we said we'd, we'd help him figure it out. He's also gonna try and call his son, so hopefully everything works out and we finally get our oil changed. We think it's great that you accept Bitcoin, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you, want, do you want to text, it's your mom I guess? Do you want to send her a text message maybe with a QR code? Uh, or do you want to text text me the address and I, and I can pay them pay you that way? Sure, sure. I'll send out QR code. Great, great. I'll give your mom back the phone and when she gets it, she'll tell me the bill and I'll send the payment. You can confirm it with her. Okay. Great. Thanks. Okay. Alright, thanks. Thank you. My son knows everything about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He started when he was in high school, I believe. How Tell me something about it. That my husband and I, we annoy it. So he built his own, uh, you know, PC board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by Bitcoin something. Yeah, he was mining. But he built that when he was young. He started mining a long time ago. You yes, me. Hey, Mom, I got the money. Babe. Good? Good. You got the money? <laughs> Good. <laughs> With our much needed oil change out of the way, we said goodbye to our new friends in Philadelphia and got on the road to Baltimore. There's a restaurant uh, called Mama's that we found on coinmap.org and uh, we called ahead to make sure, one, that they're open, two, that they still accept Bitcoin after our incident this morning. But uh, we were unsuccessful in reaching anybody in a few attempts, so we're going to just head there anyways and uh, hope for the best. So we're at Mama Rosa's. We're about to go in and find out if they accept Bitcoin. Their open light is off, but somebody's inside. Hopefully they do. Closed? I have four. Okay. <laughs> They're kind of open. <laughs> they open at four, but the website said they open at 11 a.m. Um, so we're giving up on restaurants. New policy. If we cannot speak with someone beforehand and confirm that they're open and yes, they accept Bitcoin, we're not even going to try. 
We're on a three-day losing streak and it ends here at Mama's. Next stop, Baltimore. And now for the breakdown. Bitcoin spent today, 0 0.559, 210 US dollars. Mileage has traveled, 200 miles, 320 kilometers. Friends Network grew by a factor of six. We received one new donation through changetip.com. Thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and join the conversation with us on Twitter.